Shoring pumps provide the means to hydraulically expand, pressurise and retract all ground force hydraulically operated shoring equipment. Two types of hand pumps are available, the basic single acting pump and the double acting mega pump. The mega pump is capable of delivering greater fluid volumes at higher pressure. Note that hand pumps are only recommended for use with smaller equipment where the volume of fluid within the internal rams is relatively small. For larger bracing frames and struts, motorised pumps are recommended. These pumps are covered in a separate section. Shoring equipment can be either single or double acting. Single acting equipment needs to be manually retracted whereas double acting equipment can be both expanded and retracted hydraulically. Most modern ground force equipment is double acting, so it is necessary to configure the hand pump hoses correctly for single or double acting use. Double acting equipment will always have two hose connections and a lock off valve. Single acting equipment will only have one hydraulic hose connection. More modern equipment will also have a lock off valve. It is essential for the supervisor to be familiar with the equipment being installed by first thoroughly reading the user guide supplied by Groundforce with the higher documentation. The basic hand pump can be adapted for either single or double acting use. The pump comprises of the following components. A 20 litre capacity fluid tank, the pump body and operating handle, the load hold and release valve, the pressure gauge, the fluid delivery hose connection, the return to tank connection, shoring fluid concentrate, delivery hoses and bridles. Please note that two hoses are required for double acting equipment and only one for single acting. The hand mega pump is designed for double acting equipment. The pump comprises of the following components. A 40 litre capacity fluid tank, the pump body and operating handle, the flow direction valve, the pressure gauge, the fluid pressure delivery mode button. This button is pulled out for high fluid volume at low pressures, that is when the leg is being initially pumped out. The button is pushed in to deliver low fluid volume at high pressure for final pressurisation of the leg. Two fluid delivery hose connections, shoring fluid concentrate and delivery hoses. Before commencing pumping, check that sufficient fluid is present in the reservoir and top up as necessary. It is essential to add shoring fluid in the correct ratio of three parts clean water to one part concentrate. This will maintain antifreeze properties, lubrication and prevent corrosion of the hydraulic rams. The shoring fluid is biodegradable. It is recommended that gloves are worn whilst mixing the fluid and care taken to avoid spillages. Full COSH data is available on request. All hydraulic connections in the system are of the quick release type as shown here. The delivery hose is connected to the pump unit and then connected to the equipment being installed. As mentioned earlier, only one hose is required with single acting equipment as shown here. With double acting equipment, a return hose must be connected to the coupling on the tank. Great care must be taken to ensure that the male and female couplings connect fully. Pumping is achieved by simply rotating the load valve forward and operating the handle. Most equipment is pressurised to around 1000 psi. The installation pressure is not critical but care must be taken not to over pressurise rams that are not fully supported by trench sheeting. Once the equipment has been fully installed, the delivery hose is depressurised by rotating the load valve backwards. Couplings can then be released manually. Once the delivery hose has been removed from the equipment, it is good practice to connect the free end of the tank return couplings to prevent any dirt entering the coupling. When using the mega hand pump, the pumping procedure is basically the same, except the initial pumping should be done on the low range and the final pressurisation done after the pump is switched on to the high range by pushing in the button as shown. 
This pump is equipped with a valve to change the direction of the fluid flow depending on whether the equipment is to be expanded or retracted. Please observe the following points whilst using this equipment. Position the pump on level firm ground. Use two hoses for double acting equipment. Ensure that all connections are made correctly. Regularly check the shoring fluid level in the reservoir. Only use shoring fluid supplied by ground force in the recommended concentrations. Wear appropriate PPE when operating and filling the pump. Inspect for signs of obvious defects at the start of every shift. Do not use excessive force on any of the controls. Do not exceed the equipment installation pressure. And do not use shoring fluid other than supplied by ground force. Ground Force Shoreco. Be safe and sure.